it's hard to get approved for an apartment or anything without any kind of job record or pay stub, stuff like that. A new bill up for debate in the Tennessee General Assembly calls for making it easier for people with a criminal background to get back into housing. If passed, some landlords won't be able to turn people down for a place to live based on their record, but the tenant will still need a job to apply. And 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan explains why getting that job is such a key step for inmates trying to re-enter society. The first step toward change is the will to do so. But for people who have been previously incarcerated, change also requires opportunity. Can I at least give you an application? Yeah. Trying to get back on your feet and do the right thing, but a lot of people won't give you that shot because you do have a record. Dan Benedict knows how hard it is. You'll go through the interview process, all for him to do the background check and tell you that it's not going to work out. Um, it's very defeating and frustrating. Just five years ago, he was living through it. I finally found some people to take a chance on me and have been successful ever since. Let me know how it works out, okay? Oh, Today, dozens of people, many former inmates, are trying to make that change, too. To look around, and if any job opportunity was to arise that I was interested in. The job is the first step for all these people to reacclimate to society. It's hard to get approved for an apartment or anything without any kind of job record or pay stub, stuff like that. But most of all, a job helps them feel connected to their community once again. It makes me feel worthy and um, I'm starting to trust people now. So um, it, it really makes me feel good. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan.